Hi and welcome once again. Today I received this forklift. I had ordered it about two, three months ago, just before the COVID virus came out and uh, been some time now on its way here. Um, I like the shape. I like the, the details and the finish, but I don't like the way it operates. I mean, it's a toy grade. And uh, for a toy grade, it's expensive, but for the details it has and the nice finish, I thought it was worth risking to uh, open up, take the electronics out and modify it for uh, hobby grade purposes. I would like to start making a couple of videos of this forklift working in the garage and outside in the parking lot, loading and unloading. But with the way it works, in its current condition, in its stock format, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> uh, this is the, uh, let me see if I get this right. AO, <laughs> hang on, it's A-O-H-A-I. IO Hay 3828 11 inch RC forklift. I bought it from Banggood and I, I think it was about $75. Again, not cheap for a toy, but uh, you'll see for yourself now. This is, this is the radio that came with it. As you can see from the size of my hand, you know, it's not exactly a big radio, very small, but it's got quite a few features in it. I already switched it on. The first thing I will remove, hang on a minute, let me point this down here a bit. The first thing I will remove from it is this. <laughs> that will drive me up the wall. There's no way any sound is coming out of this. If, wait, wait a minute, let me switch it off. Nope. Yeah, listen to this crap. <laughs> there, nice and cool. <laughs> The only sound I will allow, I don't think it has it, I will have to find some way of making it, is while it's reversing the normal industrial uh, reversing beeps. That I don't mind, because that is uh, realistic. But the rest of it, I'm sorry, it's crap. Um, uh, let me give you a demonstration of it lifting and whatever. It does what it's supposed to do. We're going up. As you can see, it's struggling. Well, mainly because I haven't charged the battery yet. Plus, um, this does not slide in this rail perfectly. I might oil and grease and whatever to help it along. And if there are any sharp edges or edges that are not supposed to be there, I'll remove them, but I mean, I'll clean them out. This goes up and down. It's held up by this bit of string here, and the same on the other side. There's a pulley here, and the pulley. Hang on, you're not seeing this, are you? Whoop. There you are. There's a pulley here, and a pulley here. You can see the string here, which is holding up the, the forks. I used my, one of my own pallets. It's nicer than the one that came with it. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, it could have sharp edges. This doesn't exactly slide very smoothly on, on, on the rails, but so that's going up and down. As in the fork, uh, the, the arm tilting. Oh no, wrong one. This is not so bad, but then again, the electronics need to change. And as for driving, before I do anything, before I show you how it drives, I will have to remove anything on it, lower this, because when it starts going, <laughs> it doesn't stop very quickly. <laughs> It's quite hilarious, in fact. 
Oh, by the way, I put Ruff in there. He seems to fit. He's got his pet cat there. He seems to fit very well in it. So although, although it says, hang on a minute. There, let me show you a bit of lighting as well. Yeah, that's better. Although it says it's a 1.8 scale forklift. Well, he fits in there, so for me, it's a, it's more a 110. <coughs> um, so here goes the driving. Right, hang on. Let me show you the steering first. Ready? Nothing. Nothing. But if you push it all the way, that's it. <laughs> Let it go, and it comes back. <laughs> I find it hilarious. Anyway, reversing. Ready? Hold tight. Don't be surprised if it crashes into something. And it's off. <laughs> Watch. Take note. And when I let my finger go. Let me see. Good I'm going forward. I'm going to let my finger go. And see how long it takes to stop. <laughs> so imagine trying to position pallets loaded with stuff you know strategically and precisely in a location well get it <laughs> but going back to this I don't want to knock it too much oh you know what I like about it as well that the lights they all function with when operating the boom and let me see if you go forward does it yep they come on Ooh. Catch it. Ooh, okay, there. Anyway, steering. Yep, they go over the steering as well. <laughs> okay, anyway. This is it. There. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up and show you what it's like inside and what I would like to do with it as regards to what modifications I want, I need to do to it. So, see you when I take it apart. So, I removed the top cover as you can see. Basic six screws and uh, a bit of twisting of plastic to, to unhinge it like from the body. So, the chassis is very basic and when I saw that let me see here, let me move the camera a bit, like this, great. <clears throat> this is the main motor that drives the front wheels. And the gear, that uh, we have a gearbox here, and a locked axle. <clears throat> so this makes steering very difficult, because the steering at the back, and uh, this is switched off. Okay. <clears throat> the steering at the back uh, won't uh, allow, no, the steering at the back won't turn the vehicle the way it should with a front locked drive axle. So um, I was planning on putting a motor on each wheel and configuring my uh, Spectrum DX8 to <clears throat> to uh, work the way I needed to work, that uh, one lever will move the forklift forward, the same one pulling it towards me will reverse it, and when I turn, uh, the motors will change to the correct speed to turn according to how far I turn the steering. But it was going to be complicated, I know I would need two ESCs, two motors, blah, 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 anyway, um, there is no room for all this. So, I thought of this, and somebody actually mentioned it on, 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 a, on a forum. Why not disconnect one of the front wheels, the main drive of the, of the forklift, disconnect it somehow from being driven, free wheel it, and make, it a, make the whole thing a one wheel drive. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I think that's the easiest way to go. Just not sure uh, how to go about freeing, for example, this wheel. I need to open up here to see what the gearbox is like and what it entails. Because I would not like to do uh, irreparable damage 
I can't imagine finding parts for this. So ideally, if I can remove, uh, I don't know, a piece of the <coughs> of the axle, oh, sorry, of the shaft, or make a make a simple shaft myself, just to let this turn, but free wheel, while the drive goes onto the other wheel. That's just an idea. I will leave the actual uh, motor there, the actual gearing, and all that. I mean. It's a, it's a brushed motor, so if I put a 1060 Hobbywing ESC, I can get the, the slow crawl speed that I need for this, forward and reverse. That will solve one big problem for me. And the steering, here you can see it here. There's no servo over there. <laughs> Toy grade, that will have to go. And I will fit, somehow, I will have to fit a um, Either a mini servo, or a full, I don't know if a full size servo would fit in there, but maybe a mini servo. And um, again, this is going to be used mainly on this surface uh, in the garage, which is over there, and the driveway, which is over there. You can't see it. And, um, and I'm not going to show it to you because there's a lot of crap there <laughs> at the moment. I'm doing some renovation work in the workshop, and believe me, to clear the space, I have to be careful where to stand. <laughs> anyway, uh, my tea at the moment is in the middle of my garage, and I'll say no more. <laughs> anyway, so the steering will be a regular uh, servo. Uh, maybe uh, the difficult part will be uh, connecting the linkage, whatever kind of linkage there is here, this. To, to an actual servo. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, regular servo. This will be controlled by an ESC. This will all go. This is the uh, um, the, uh, the receiver plus ESC and what have you here. And they claim this to be an 11 channel. I said 11 inch before. It's 11 channel. Um, um, well, this will all go. These are wires connecting the motor for the for the boom. And let me move here for the boom and for the forks. They are just regular motors, mm. and I will. I don't wish to put an ESC for each one, but I might. Um, um, there will be no speed. They'll be on and off. So if I put them on a separate channel each. And where they can go up and down at full speed, the motor. I mean, this is what I do right now. The, the original remote. Here, let me show it to you. <coughs> the original remote has these. Up, sorry, down and up. There, there, there is no. Uh, it switched. The, that is disconnected. There is no uh, adjustment of speed. It either goes up or it comes down. I want it to be slow, I don't want it to zoom up and down. And they don't, even if you have high speed and there's a problem, you have breakage. So I want to keep it as slow as possible. But anyway, I can adjust that from the radio, from the throttle. And uh, so this will be, one, one channel will be for up and down. One channel will be for tilting the boom forward and back. <clears throat> then I have another channel for the steering and one more channel to drive. For me, this will work with a, in my opinion, it will work with a four channel. But I have eight channels on my radio. This is supposed to be 11. And I'm assuming the start, the sound, the music, and what have you, and the horn, they're all extra channels. Plus the lighting. Oh, the lighting, yes. Mm, the lighting, well, I can wire that. I can change the LEDs. I, I have these LEDs that I use on my, on my RCs and uh, they are uh, 12 volt capable they're pre-wired i buy them packs of 10 from ebay for about one or two dollars and uh, i have blinking ones and i can connect them to the motor output sorry input so when the motor receives current to work they'll go on and off oh, very simple i think that's the way i'll go to make the lights because i like the the working lights it has I, I, I like that. Maybe they won't be as, as sophisticated. <coughs> Sorry for a lack of for a better word. 
as sophisticated <laughs> as they are now, but I will get some of them to work somehow. Other than that, I don't know what else to do to it. Hopefully, I can get it to work in, in a way that I can uh, maneuver it in the small space I have in the, in the garage, because at the moment, there is no way I'm going to be able to control it in there. I mean, you saw it here, I stopped it in the middle of the camera. I let the throttle go and it ended up almost out of camera view until it stopped. I don't, I can't afford that space in the garage. Besides, it's not realistic. So, we're going to see what we can do with this. But that will be another video. So for now, I'm going to leave it here. Alright, I'm going to leave you guys here. And... Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or tips, or whatever, please let me know down in the comments. Like my video, subscribe, and share, please. Until the next one. And the next one, hopefully, will be what? The result of what I did to that forklift. The, the mods I made. See you then, guys. Thanks.